So we have a bunch of red root uh, pigweed populations here, and we have picked up in previous screens a hint of some problems with glyphosate. We haven't been able to confirm it, and this is another screen where we picked up some of that. Uh, again, red root pigweed, um, not so much of a diamond-shaped leaf, does have a rough uh, stem. Um, so you can feel that. The, colors, the color of the red and all that's not really much of a characteristic. Um, not really much of a world appearance as you look down at it. Um, what's kind of uh, unusual here is that we have plants surviving a 1x and also a, a 4x rate of glyphosate. And these were all you know, smaller than this when they were sprayed. Um, and doing some regrowth with some kind of weird symptoms like some very uh, large leaves compared to the non-treated. So we're starting to see a hint of uh, that this particular population is also showing some problems with uh, flex star. So here's a 1x rate of flex star, although the 4x rate is doing a pretty decent job on it. Um, and then ALS inhibitors, we have some that are um, trying to survive ALS inhibitors as well, although maybe it's a little bit early to tell. So just a reminder, the red root pigweed um, from 2013, we had populations that were resistant to ALS inhibitors and flex star. Um, and red root pigweed across the country has not really been uh, shown to be resistant to glyphosate yet, but we're sort of put, certainly putting a lot of pressure on it, and we're starting to get the hint that possibly we're starting to see some issues with glyphosate. Um, and we'll have to confirm that in another screen.